CWF Mid-Atlantic has taken it upon themselves to try to make Eric Andrews out to be the bad guy. To be the guy that wants to bring this place down. They're the people that didn't want me to have this. If you don't believe me, all you gotta do is look back about a year ago and you can see very, very clearly that this company didn't want to give me a shot. This company didn't believe that I could get the job done. But what happened? I proved them wrong. And ever since then, I have ran through this company, through everyone that they have put in my way, and I still have this. So what do they do? From now on, starting the next time that you defend that title, it's not up to me anymore. Right, it's up to me. My it's way. up to them. <laughs> Brad Stutt, you're going to realize, and you should know already, you know me well enough. You put me into a corner. I got no choice but to do anything to keep what's mine. Now, now that's next week. Let's talk about two weeks from now. Two weeks from now, I get an opportunity at the Mid-Atlantic title. And oh yes, oh yes, I will get an opportunity for the Mid-Atlantic title. Something that I've never had a shot at in my entire career. Trevor Lee, you are the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Champion and there's no doubt about it, you are one of the best in the world. But there's going to be six people in this match. Six people. You know what that says to me? That says to me, Trevor, it doesn't matter how good you are. I don't have to beat you. All I got to do is outlast. Outlast five other guys. You people already know. I'm pretty good at that. So in two weeks, when it's all, when it's all said and done, when it's all over, you'll be looking at not only the Mid-Atlantic Television Champion, but the new Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Champion. And then, then, CWF, there is no way that you will be able to control Eric Andrews.